Hi, welcome to In the Studio. I'm your host, Emily Merton, and today's topic is life in the water, or more specifically, life as a water polo player. Today, I have three talented athletes from Davis Senior High School joining me. They are part of the women's water polo team. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Um, so first, I'm going to start out just asking you guys your names, um, what year you are at school, and how long you've been playing water polo. So Carissa, do you want to start? Um, I'm Carissa. I'm a junior currently, and I've only started this year. So. Awesome. Yeah. I'm Moira, and I'm a junior, and I've been playing water polo since I was in fifth grade. Wow, a long time. What about you? Um, I'm Kendall. I'm a senior. I've been playing water polo for about eight years. Wow, so you're a senior. Yeah. So that means this is your last year. Yeah. Do you plan on doing water polo later, like after high school? Probably? Yeah, um, it's different for every school. Not all schools have water polo in college. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking into um, the recruitment, like, recruitment process and trying to play um, in the like college division one level. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's good. Um, so Carissa, you obviously have a different experience. Um, yeah. Why did you start playing water polo? Well, originally some of my friends um, play water polo, so they were like trying to get me into it. And then I thought since I'm in high school, high school is when you're supposed to like try out new things. So it's like, might as well just join water polo All to right. see what it's like. Yeah, was it worth it in the end? Yeah, you it's like really it? fun. Um, what are some of the most difficult things that you've experienced? Like, are there certain skills that were really hard to learn that everyone else already knew? Basically everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I didn't know a lot of the strokes, and like during practice, um, a lot of my teammates would like help me with it, like Moira would. And then during the game, it's just like keeping up and knowing what I'm supposed to do. So I'm still learning. Yeah, how's she doing, Moira? She's doing great. It's like, <laughs> like honestly, she's improved so much. Like, she's so much faster, and she's got such a fast shot. Awesome. Like, it's like, it's awesome. So if you want to start water polo and you're a junior, just go for it <laughs> because we've got people here that are loving it. Um, so I know a lot of people don't know much about water polo. Like, how would you describe water polo to someone who's never heard of the sport, like a friend? Any of you have an idea? Um, I guess like, it's a, it's a physical contact sport <laughs> and it's played in the water and you use your hands to throw a ball <laughs> into a goal that's pretty big and the goal has a goalie. So the object of the game is to put the ball into the goal. Awesome. Well, it seems kind of like, I don't know, I see it as soccer in the water yeah. a little yeah. bit in a way. So why don't we look at some pictures, right, to kind of give people a visual of what water polo is if they don't already know. So this is someone throwing a shot. You guys want to talk about I'm it? Not sure um, who that I is. I think this is Sophia Dolan. No. Maybe. It looks like number four. It or looks like a number four. But either way, they're making a pass. And they're making a pass, and it's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that they get their bodies really out of the water. You guys have yeah. to tread water a lot, huh? Yeah. All right, you what really about want the next picture? Make sure to get your elbow out of the water oh, so it yeah. doesn't drag it down. Oh, yeah, that's Speaking, a good idea. Yeah. This is like defense right here? Yeah, yeah, so she's defending. She looks like she's about to pass it to the top uh, three position. So each position has a different number at the very top. That's like uh, the three spot is what it's called. So basically what you try to do when um, you're blocking a pass is you go for their elbow because when your elbow drops, you basically can't pass. Oh, so okay. it's just kind of like interfering that way. So instead of just going straight for the ball, it's easier to reach for someone's elbow. Okay, that makes sense. That's interesting. All right, next picture. Um, what's going that's on like here? Nice it seems that's like Brooke. that's my sister. <laughs> this is like an aggressive sport. Yeah. Like, what are some rules? What are some boundaries? So, yeah, okay. So, the thing is, it is aggressive, definitely. Um, especially on, I don't know, the defensive side is usually more aggressive. Um, on the perimeter, it's aggressive in when you're trying to get open, people will grab you and pull you back. And sometimes that's noticed by the refs and you can get kicked out if you're like in the wrong position. And then there's the center position and the center defender, which is like my position. I'm a center defender. So basically we're kind of like wrestling it out like in the middle the whole time trying to, I'm trying to get in front of the other girl okay. and she's trying to get her position and it's very, yeah, it's definitely very physical. Right. So Wow. Yeah, yeah. It seems like you have to, you kind of have to be in a different zone. Like, wow. 
that arm is like out there. I think this is who is this? I think that's this Sophia, is Sophia yeah. Dolan again. She's oh, a wow. sophomore. Okay, well that's She's an amazing. interesting shot. Kind of shows how many people are in the water at once, like from Six. your team. Six field players, and then there's a goalie. Okay, awesome. Are there any more? One more. This is a sh this is the goalie, right? Yeah. yeah. Passing it to the other side. What kind yeah. of role does the goalie play? I heard when I went to the game, I heard counting. Like, oh, nine, so um, when we're on defense, they will call out the shot clock how, as it runs down to kind of let us know um, to kind of get ready to get back onto offense because we're not paying attention to that kind of stuff, but they can see everything mm -hmm. else that we don't see. So for the people that usually the attackers that swim and counter out, um, they need to know, like, kind of, like, time out when they can do that and just leave mm -hmm. and, and, and get that advantage, like, okay. down the pool. So there's a time limit for how long you can be on defense yeah, and offense? Yeah, it's uh, 30 seconds for is your offensive possession. Oh, so the game goes pretty fast, right? Yeah. How long is the uh, game? They're seven minute, four seven-minute quarters. Oh, so that's, that's kind of, is it nice? Do you like that it's shorter? It no. it seems short compared to like a soccer game mm -hmm. or a football game, but like it's so intense and you're constantly going back and forth and like changing up what you're doing. It's kind of like it's a lot. Like you feel like even if you're in for like three minutes, mm -hmm. you're like exhausted. Yeah, I bet. Just from doing because you of have that, to tread so. water so much. Yeah. Like Carissa, was that a struggle at first? Uh, yeah, I wasn't really good at treading water in the beginning, and so one of the coaches had to like teach me. But like now, I know how to tread in the water yeah so it's it, fine yeah does it come natural to you yet like how long would you say you could tread water for um well the whole practice we basically tread water wow. so like two hours I, I don't that's, know that's impressive yeah. yeah so practice do you guys do something other than swim during your practices you guys have crossfit or something uh during that, practices we do different plays and then like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do CrossFit. CrossFit. So yeah. it kind of, why do you do CrossFit in addition to swim? It's kind of like a, a, you're exercising different parts of your body. So it's like an extra strengthening, mm -hmm. like conditioning kind of thing. Because whenever we're in the pool, we're working on speed and mm -hmm. passing and shooting and just basic offensive plays and defense and all of that. Um, but doing CrossFit kind of puts like an extra like element to like exercise, you know, mm -hmm. like legs are important when you're treading water. So like to build up that muscle, we'll go to CrossFit and like do squats and lunges and like all those ex extra things to kind of like build up muscle. Cause swimming isn't always the like most, like, I don't know, like for people that play soccer or like land sports, usually they build up more muscle easier. But for swimming, like you're kind of lean, mm -hmm. like most swimmers are pretty like lean. So mm -hmm. it's just an extra way to kind of build muscle. That makes sense. So with all these muscular water polo people and they're all so aggressive, <laughs> do you guys ever like get injuries? Like I, I you know, I see do the fingernail rule. Does that oh. ring a bell? Where you're like <laughs> not supposed to have a certain, yeah. what's with that, Moira? Um, well, you have to have your fingernails short so you can't like scratch anyone. That's, so that's that like you're swimming good. and you just scratch someone because I mean, don't want to scratch anyone. Yeah. So do they check your nails before a yeah. game? So always? In a tournament, you'll get your nails checked once before like all of the games, like once okay. for the whole tournament. But then like in a game like that, they'll just check them and just kind of like go like, Oh, mm -hmm. They that's feel good. Strange. That's not something that's seen in other sports. That's kind of funny. Um, what about toenails? Do they check your toenails? I actually so okay. Many. I have never been. They've never checked my toenails before. And one time, my fingernails were cut, and then the guy looked down at my toes and said, "I see your toes," and he <laughs> made me go cut them. Yeah, oh. if they're obviously long, they, they they'll point it out. So to you. you nail scissors is an essential in your bag when you're going yeah, to a game. Yeah, nail clippers. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone, usually like, people don't have them though, and so yeah. like some, I've seen girls though. It's so bad if they don't have nail clippers or anything they'll just like file them Sand on them. the deck oh my like gosh. literally rub their hands on the ground to just like kind of like dole them out <laughs> that's so they feel like they're not as sharp it's so gross it's so i hate it that's so weird do you know if they have that same rule for guys like uh, well, yeah. i think so. I, I i actually i can't I've imagine that they don't yeah the guys i don't think they like are worried as much about guys having long nails yeah because Guys don't general. usually have long nails. Yeah, that makes but, sense. Yeah, it's also, I don't know, it's not always for scratching. Like when you talked about injuries, like one time I, my, oh my fingernails <laughs> were a little too long and my, 
my middle finger on my right hand got caught in a girl's <gasps> zipper in the back. So when she spun away from me, it just kind of, yeah. That's horrible. Got hooked on there. So oh not just safety of others, but like you can get your nails caught on things. That's, so. that's pretty scary. Rockpole <laughs> is a scary sport, huh? I know. It <laughs> no, be. it seems like it's fun though, right? What are some yeah. misconceptions of water polo that like some of your friends who don't play kind of say about the sport that you would want to like dismiss? Well, I mean, <laughs> like, it's definitely physical, but it's not like, uh, people aren't usually physical on purpose. Like, you're not going to go mm -hmm. in there and try and hurt someone. Like, things happen, like you'll get kicked, but then no one's purposefully trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. So if people might think, oh, water polo girls are, like, so aggressive, like, mm -hmm. on purpose. It's like, no, like, it's just, a like, a contact sport, like, a real contact sport. Yeah. And... I don't know, like some people when they're like, oh, watch a game, they're like, oh, it's kind of boring and slow. It's like, well, like our, some of our games cool. are kind of blown out just because of where we are in our area. Water polo isn't as strong, but like real water polo games are like so intense and like so mm -hmm. cool. And they just like, it goes by really fast. I think they were pretty I cool. Know. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, when I watched it, it seems pretty cool. I don't know. Do you guys have any, how's your season going? So far, are you? Do you guys have any big games coming up? <laughs> we just we won the Western States championship. Yeah, we are oh. at a tournament. We got first place at the Western States uh, championship tournament, um, and then we had our last home game last no two nights ago. Two, two nights ago, Tuesday night. So yeah, yeah two, so nights two nights ago. Yeah. And then um, we have one more game, which is going to be our last league game, and it's against St. Francis, so that's like our big kind of rival oh, wow. game, and it's our like last individual game before its section starts, mm -hmm. so that's kind of coming up, and then the whole season, I think Doug said we're like 19 and 6, or yeah, eight, yeah 19 and 6, six games. so wow. if we win this next game against St. Francis, it'll be like our 20th win of the season, which is like why, it's, it's like that's kind of awesome. an extra factor. That, yeah. There's a lot of games, how many games are there per week usually? Two. Two? Yeah. two? Wow, One you guys two. are like in the water so much, huh? Yeah. What and do then, you do yeah. off season? Swim. Swim. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are always in the water. That's kind of funny. Basically, I mean, yeah, there's club mm -hmm. year round, and we just don't do it during the fall because we have high school. But basically, after high school, we'll have like a couple weeks off, and then we go and start club again. And then for high school, the swim season's in the spring, so we'll kind of do club in the winter, and then maybe a little bit in the spring, and then we'll just start swimming. All right, yeah, Fair. awesome. You guys are in the water a lot. Um, so last kind of thing, why do you guys stick with water polo? Why do you love it so much? Carissa, Oh, well, it's like just it so far? My first year. So I don't know. Everyone's really nice. And it's like I'm learning something new, and it's really fun. And, like, people always ask me about it. Like, I don't know much about it because I just started. But it's so fun to, like, tell them, like, oh, yeah, I do this sport. And you know, come watch a game mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's awesome. Um, do you think you'll do it next season? Um, maybe, probably. Awesome. What about you, Moira? I think that I just really like the team sport, mm -hmm. like working with the team and just being able to be part of it and have that f source of friends mm -hmm. and right. being able to like play a sport and stay fit with it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, all of those things, basically. <laughs> I played since I was little, um, and it's just always kind of been like a big part of my life. My whole family is a part of it. And not just, I don't know, like the team aspect is obviously really important, and it's kind of taught me a lot. But just like the whole water polo like culture, like no matter mm -hmm. where you are, like everyone's so close and we're all like kind of brought together with water polo. Everyone, like we help each other out. Like even from, we have friends on like other teams mm -hmm. of, at other high schools in like Stockton and stuff yeah. and we see them and it's just like, you know, you're just kind of connected with all these people just yeah. like through this like one sport. And it's not a big sport, so there's not that like, oh, you, I don't know, like, if you're trying to play in college, like it's harder to get like to that level with like basketball or something. It's mm -hmm. super competitive, but water polo, it's like, it's still, you're doing this like really amazing thing and you can feel confident about your sport, but it's not like a basic, like, yeah. I don't know. It's just Yeah, different. I get what you're mm -hmm. saying. It's something that anyone can really start at any time, which is kind of obvious with Carissa starting new yeah. and loving it and doing such a good job. So thanks so much for telling us all about water polo. Um, if you want to know more about them, they have a little team run Twitter page, which is 
um, twitter.com slash DHS women's WP. And it's just people kind of post their pictures and update on how games are going. I follow it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you for joining us today, girls. I had a lot of fun. Um, thank you for watching in the studio. If you want to watch this episode online, you can go to dctv.davismedia.org or you could find us on YouTube at Davis Media Access. Thanks so much for joining me. I was your host, Emily Merton, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>